What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at while loops in JavaScript. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at while loops for JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, in the last video, we looked at for loops. In this video, we want to look at while loops. And there's a couple of variations that we're going to look at, the regular while loop and the do while loop. And I think you're going to find they're very similar to for loops. They're a little bit different in how we create them, but basically they're doing the same thing, just slightly differently. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this JavaScript series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got the code that we were working on in the last video. I've renamed it while loop.html. And just as a quick recap, this is what a for loop looks like. We have four, and then we have a variable, then we do some condition, then we increment our variable, and then we loop around and do some stuff. So you're going to find the while loop is very similar to this, except in this area right here, it's actually quite different. So let me just kind of put this down the screen just so we can reference it for a bit here. And let's start out by creating a variable. I'm just going to say let i equals zero. And we have to define a variable first because in a for loop, this is all taken care of inside of here. But in a while loop, we do it in the actual loop section, in the actual code block. That's where we're going to increment our thing. So we need to define it outside of the while loop. So let's come down here and let's say while. And then we have some condition and then we're going to loop. So very similar to the for loop, we have our statement, we have a conditional, and then a code block. Same thing here, we've got our statement, we've got a conditional, and then we've got our code block. So inside of here, let's say while i is less than 10. Just keep it real simple. Let me just come down here and copy this from the last video. We just want to document right out to the screen. Hello world. Now here we need to i plus plus right here. So we're incrementing our counter inside this code block. Remember for our for loop, we did it right here. The main difference between a for and a while loop is when you do it inside this a parentheses code block, right? So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this. And let's say hello world dash while, <laughs> I don't know. There we go, let's save this, head over to our web browser and let's run while loop.html. And here we see zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine dash while. So why doesn't it go to 10? Same thing with the for loop, it starts out at zero. Zero is less than 10, so it does this thing then it adds one to our i. So zero becomes y and we loop through and do it again. So one is less than 10, add one, two, add one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is less than 10. So it prints out nine, hello world. And then it adds one. So nine becomes 10. It loops around again. Is 10 less than 10? No, it's not. So this is no longer true. So as soon as this becomes false, it just stops. It does not print out this again. So that's why we don't have 10 on the screen. So the while loop continues while this is true. That's pretty much it. That's the while loop. Very simple. I just remember to put your counter here. If you don't, you're going to have an infinite loop. It's just going to spin on and on and on forever because it's going to start out at zero. Zero is less than 10. It'll say zero. Hello world. Without this counter, it remains zero and it just loops around again. And then, you know, zero is still less than 10. It prints out zero, loops around again, zero, zero, zero. And it just keeps spinning forever. And your web browser is probably going to crash. So that's the while loop. Now we also have something. It's a slight variation called the do while. And to be honest, I don't think in like almost 40 years, I've never used the do while loop, except when explaining it in videos like this. So it's basically the same thing as this. In fact, let's, uh, let's just print this out on the screen. And instead of this, let's just put a couple of line breaks. And let's do another code block here. Uh, what's going on here? There we go. So the do while loop is very similar to the while loop, except we start out with do. And here we just do our block. So I'm just going to copy this. And instead of I, let's call this X. So let's set X equal to zero and change this to X. And let's change this to do while so we know the difference. And then really the only difference is outside of the looping block, the code block here, this is where we do our while. We see while uh, we got x less than 10, right? Maybe put this down a little bit. 
So you can see here we have the while loop at the front. With the do, we have the while loop at the end, and we put a, a do in there. So I don't know why you would really want to do this. It seems more complicated. It's a little bit more code. I, I don't know. Like I said, I've never used this in my life. <laughs> if we go back over here and hit reload. Now we have another, you know, zero through nine. It says do while instead of just while. And that's just another way to loop through. I'm sure there are very legitimate reasons why you might want to use a do while loop. I just never come across it in real life. If you need to use it, that's how you use it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, very similar to the actual while loop. Um, just a little bit more code. So that we've got one, two, three, four, basically five lines of code. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code. So not a ton more, but you know, eh, coders are lazy. So <laughs> one extra line of code is too many. So anyway, those are the while loops, the regular while loop that you're gonna use all the time. And the do while loop, like I said, maybe you'll use it. But if you need it, there it is. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com or get use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.